Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with Amazon Security Lake by enabling Amazon Security Lake in an AWS organization. If you're not familiar with Amazon Security Lake, it is a fully managed security data lake service. You can use Security Lake to automatically centralize security data from AWS and third-party sources into a data lake that's stored in your AWS account. Security Lake helps you analyze security data so you can gain visibility across your entire organization. With Security Lake, you can also improve the protection of your workloads, applications, and data. The data collected in Security Lake is stored in Amazon Simple Storage Service or Amazon S3 buckets in your environment so you retain ownership over your data. Security Lake automates the collection of security-related log and event data from integrated AWS services and third-party services. It also helps you manage the life cycle of data with customizable retention and replication settings. Security Lake converts ingested data into Apache Parquet format and a standard open source schema called the Open Cybersecurity Schema Framework, or OCSF for short. Now let's jump into the console and enable Security Lake. Now that we're in the console, we're gonna set up Amazon Security Lake across this AWS organization. My organization has six AWS accounts. Your organization might have six, ten, hundreds, or thousands. The setup is gonna remain the same across that. So first we're starting in the organizational delegated administrator account, sometimes known as a billing account. And the first thing we need to do is go to Security Lake. So we'll type that in at the top and we'll click on the Security Lake service. You'll see we're welcomed here with a get started with Amazon Security Lake page. We'll go ahead and click get started. It asks us to then set a delegated administrator for this AWS organization. This is an account that will handle the configuration for Security Lake across all of the accounts in your organization. It's recommended to potentially do this from a log archive account that you might be familiar with from AWS landing zone and control tower implementations of the past. In this environment, I'm gonna go ahead and click the pre-selected security account that I'm already using as my tooling account for detective and guard duty. Depending on separation of duties and who might be responsible for collecting logs in your environment, this account might be different for you all, but please take that into consideration when selecting your delegated administrator account. So with that said, I'll go ahead and click delegate. And now we'll jump over to our delegated administrator account. Okay, now we've pivoted to our delegated administrator account. So we'll start again by searching for Security Lake. We'll once again be welcomed by the getting started with Security Lake page, so we'll click get started. And then now we can see we have different options. So the first one is to select log and event sources. It's defaulted to all log and event sources, or we can have the option to manually pick whether we want to collect CloudTrail, VPC flow logs, Route 53, DNS query logs, or security hub findings. For this demonstration, we'll go ahead and select all log and event sources. Next, we'll select which regions do we want to collect these logs from. We can either specify any of the currently supported regions, or for this demonstration, we'll also pick all supported regions. And then the next is to select accounts. I said at the beginning, this is an organization that has six different accounts, so we can either specify this account, specific accounts, or we can enable for all accounts in, the, or in this organization. In the next, you'll see a checkbox that says enable all new accounts. This means that if you have this checked, that any new account that gets added to this organization automatically is going to get Security Lake enabled and be part of this delegated administrator member configuration. Once again, having this configured, will collect all of the different logs that we specified above from all accounts in your organization without you needing to configure anything to achieve that. So next, for service access, 
you can either allow Security Lake to create the service role for you, or you can use an existing service role, maybe that you created. And if you want to see more about the permissions details, you can click this button here to go learn more about the permissions. For this, we're going to let Security Lake create this role for us, um, relieving some of that burden from us. Next, we need to we have the option to configure a couple different things. The first being a rollup region. So we can roll up all data from other regions into a central region. This might be something that is needed for data residency, compliance requirements. So if that is something that is of interest to you, click on this link to learn more. This demonstration will add one rollup region. We'll roll up all data to North Virginia or US East 1 from US East to Ohio. Next, we have the option to set a storage class. So all data is collected, normalized, stored in S3 bucket in your environment. And when Security Lake sets this up, it also gives you the ability to define how you want this storage to be handled. So for example, we can move everything to Glacier Instant Retrieval after 30 days. For this example, you could do any amount of days that, that you want to pick here. And then next, it gives us also another reminder uh, about service access, and then we'll, we'll leave that as is, and we'll click next. So that's it. Now we can review what we configured and make sure everything is to our, our liking, and we can scroll all the way down and click Enable. Once again, clicking Enable, it's going to allow Security Lake to collect all of those different log sources across all of the accounts in your organization, rolling up to this delegated administrator account, whether that's tens, hundreds, or thousands of accounts. No more heavy lifting to configure these sources on your own. Security Lake does this, puts this data in specific partitions, in parquet format, in an S3 bucket in your environment. With that said, we'll click Enable, and within a couple of minutes, Security Lake will be enabled in collecting logs across our environment. In this video, I went over how easy it is to get started with Amazon Security Lake by enabling Amazon Security Lake in an AWS organization and configuring a rollup region. If you're interested in learning more, please visit aws.amazon.com forward slash security lake.